everyone. This is Tamika Morrow, your favorite nurse practitioner. I still maintain my stance. I do not advise anyone to take this vaccine. It's using a technology that has never been used in human beings. That's a problem, number one. Um, some of the scientists who were a part of like Pfizer and Moderna, um, when they were asked about long-term complications of this vaccine, they couldn't give information because it's new, right? They never used this technology in human beings before, so it's new. But they did say that it's a possibility um, it may cause autoimmune disease. important thing with the quercetin you have to pair it with vitamin c so the vitamin c and the quercetin work together synergistically to help shut down the virus so if you think you have covid symptoms um or you think you've been told you've been diagnosed with it or whatever get you some quercetin get you some vitamin c take that together and some vitamin d um, and get out of fear it's so imperative to get out of fear Coronavirus is not new, it's old, it's been around for a very long time. And not only that, majority, 99, more than 99% of the people get over it. It's a virus that takes about two to three weeks to clear the system, it's not fun having it. But the truth of the vaccine is, it's not guaranteed for one that it's gonna help. You gotta at least get two different doses of it. And then they are saying right now, because the antibodies aren't sticking around, you may have to get it again every year. <laughs> and on top of it, they're, they're thinking it may cause autoimmune disease down, down in the future. So why position yourself to get some long-term disease for a virus that your body will clear in two to three weeks?